Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be having a look at the RC four-wheel drive sliders. This one is for the Jolande 2 chassis and the variant is the officially licensed Poison Spider Customs. Now, if you really want to quickly get into this video and see these sliders getting installed and unpacked, skip forward. I'm just going to waffle on a little bit. And that's because I ordered these from the RC Four Wheel Drive website. They are based in America. And when the package arrived, this also came inside. I'm super stoked that they gave me a universal lens attachment. This obviously is a phone lens attachment for when you need to make some videos of your RC crawler. Mine came with a macro lens and a fisheye lens as well. So thank you very much, RC Four Wheel Drive. I really appreciate it. Comes with a little bag to keep it safe and some decals too, so you can proudly show who you support and who supports you. So the reason for this video is I was after some sliders for my Jolande 2 D90 body. And while picking them, I saw a lot of crawling videos of people with sliders on the side, but not much inside information or close up detailing videos showing me everything that you get in slider packets when you buy them. For those of you that don't know, sliders are the side steps that install onto the chassis of your RC crawler. And they serve two main purposes. Number one is to be a faux side step. So when people open the door and step into the vehicle, this serves as a footstep. And secondly, it protects your crawler as well. Now I'll show you where they go on a crawler. This is my Jolande 2 on the side here. And they basically install around somewhere here. Now there's different types, some of them that install onto the hard body there, I believe, I don't know because I haven't seen any videos or photos, but I think they literally screw into the hard body. But the variant I was after was one that screws directly into the chassis. I believe, this is just my opinion, this to be a slightly harder wearing, more resilient and topple friendly version that will protect the chassis from scrapes and rolls. Also, let's say if you're crawling like this and there's a really big rock, let's say over here, there, and it topples down and smashes into the thing. The first thing that it's going to hit is the hard body. Let's say my hand here is a rock. It's going to crash into the hard body, give a big dent, one nasty scratch. But if you have sliders like this installed onto the side, it's going to protect that and block the rock. Just holding the package, I can tell you that this is very, very heavy. So that's also going to serve in offsetting the balance a little bit, making the weight a little bit more lower down. I think that might help with balancing your vehicle if you are crawling and dealing with some heavy terrain. So let's open this up. Really, really excited. There are the mounting screws there. There's four of them. Straightforward fit, I think. Packaged very well. There we go. And as I said, the purpose of this video is to give you a close up look of what you get when you order these sliders. The paint seems to be very uniform. The weld points seem to be okay. And there's a nice non slip platform there. for your figure to step onto and into your crawler. A little bit of ASMR there. Silica gel. This is the other side. Again, very uniform paint. Rather heavy in the hands. Made very tough, very heavy duty. And I suppose it would add a little bit to the looks. All right, let's get with installing this bad boy. So I'm going to start with this side first. It just goes like this, I believe. Yeah, is that correct? I believe that too. No, maybe over this side. Oh, there we go. There. That's what it's going to screw into. That side there and that side there. So here we go. So I'm going to have to screw in from the inside, which is going to be fiddly. Let's skip this bit. 
All right then, so I've just started installation and as you can see, I've removed the battery tray there just so that I can gain access to this part to put the screws in. Now, first of all, the screws don't screw in very smoothly. It would seem, I don't know, it feels like the it has been threaded for a different pitch, I think. But the main problem I'm having now is the installation holes don't line up. Now, if it would like to focus, as you can see there, once this side is lined up straight, this side over here, that side there, just there, the hole doesn't align correctly. So what I've got to do is stretch these legs out a bit. Hope that doesn't affect the weld or the paint too much, but what I'm going to do is just pull them apart slightly. I think it's about, I don't know, one or two mil off. But yeah, it's a, it's a couple of mil off. So what I'm going to do is stretch it and try and install it um, that way. Here we go. Right, so that was an easy fix for the first side. All I had to do was wrap one of these pillars in a very soft, spongy material. I just used the wrapping that some of my parcels came in. And then I put a spanner over the top, a large spanner, clamped it down. And then all I did was hold on to this side and very gently tweak it this side about a millimeter. And now the, you probably won't be able to see from that angle, but take my word for it, the holes line up perfectly now. Okay, those of you installing this slider would want to know which orientation the steps go in. The side step is towards the rear of the vehicle and the large center step is facing the forward position. Okay, so small one to the rear, larger one towards the forward position. And that's how you mount it. Let's do that now. And this is what it looks like once it's fully installed onto the truck. I'm sorry, I can't show you the whole truck right now, but the, um, I'm actually working on the top a little bit and it looks hideous at the moment, half taken apart, but hopefully this is gonna give you a closer view of what the paint looks like, the kind of spacing you're gonna deal with and how it's gonna kind of look on your truck. So it's kind of like that. It adds a little bit of dimension to it. As you can see, the figure's gonna come here and open the door, probably step on this side if they need, or if they need to reach up to the roof, they're gonna step on here and basically climb into the van or reach onto the top to get something. So as you can see, the paint there's very nice. It's a nice color of paint. Looks kind of a bit more charcoal-y in the video. In person, it's a lot more black, but it is quite, um, semi-matte. It's definitely not gloss, but it's a very nice color. And uh, like I said, I liked the fact that it didn't um, screw into this part or screw into the under part of the body there. Um, it actually does screw into the chassis, which I, I really like. And this is what it looks like on the chassis. As you can see, it's screwed into those points there, directly to the chassis, and these two points here as well. Nice screws. I think at first when I was screwing into these threaded holes, what it felt like, it felt like it was really tough and binding because some of the, maybe the paint or the coating went inside, made the threads a little bit tough, but that's fine. It, it went in. It just took a tiny little bit of screwing in a bit more. Uh, once it's in, I'm not going to use Loctite on that because I have a feeling they're going to be plenty tight, but we'll see how that runs. If they do fall out at any point while I'm playing with them, I will leave a pinned comment in the comment section and I will update the description description as well. But there we go. Hopefully that gave you a better view and understanding of this product. You see, when I'm trying to buy something online, the thing I hate most is if a product has very few reviews, if it doesn't have very detailed pictures, and you can't really see what the product looks like clearly especially when all you have is a few reference photos and when you want to have a closer look you can't because it kind of blurs out if you zoom in too much so hopefully this is going to give you a really good view you might have enjoyed the video it might have helped you if it did this video has done its job and i'm very happy but i'm just trying to share the knowledge and spread the awareness of all these products. Whatever I get uh, for the RC4 wheel drive Jolande 2D90, uh, the 2015 body type, I'm going to be uploading and showing you guys what it looks like, hopefully give you a very detailed close-up view. So if you guys buy and you need to find a reference point or information on said product, 
you can look at these videos and it will give you more insight and help you understand if there are any fitment issues, if there is any work you need to do, and if there is work you need to do, what kind of work, can you do it feasibly, do you have the tools, and also one of the most important aspects of any thing we're buying. The places where I buy them from, are they trustworthy and are they um, ethical? What they do if they don't have something in stock, how will you know? If they take their money by accident or if you buy something that's not in stock, how quickly you get your money back? Shipping times, how they deal with complaints, do they communicate? Right now with RC Four Wheel Drive, I can tell you that any interaction I've had with them has been fantastic so far. Any product that I've bought for them and paid for either gets shipped or if it's not in stock, I get a refund within a day or two with an apologetic email. But this so far has been a very enjoyable, fantastic experience. Hopefully this video helped you or someone. Take care.